Hello everyone, I am Anish and today we are going to solve this question on uh, voltage regulator, right? So what this question is telling us is we have to find the swing limits of the output voltage VO for the configuration given, right? So here we have one diode which has a cutting voltage of 0 0.7 volts and we have one uh, zener diode which has a breakdown voltage, zener breakdown of 6.8 volts, right? And we have to tell the like swing limits of output voltage. So like uh, and also the condition is given that the time period of this waveform right t is much much greater than the time constant of this uh, circuit right that is r times c okay so like in first glance what you will say is that yeah this is a voltage regulator circuit so what will happen is like the maximum voltage that it can go to is uh, 7.5 volts right 75 volts but like that is wrong okay why like when we will analyze the circuit then there will we will understand that why this is wrong and like for negative right for negative what you will think is yeah this is totally charging this capacitor and at steady state this uh, current will be zero hence the voltage will be zero at this point hence the minimum voltage will be zero but like that won't happen okay why let's uh, first analyze the circuit for each uh, case during the positive half cycle and during the negative half cycle and from there we'll understand so case one right case one is during positive half cycle right so during positive half cycle what is happening basically let me take the circuit so initially the capacitor doesn't have any charge right so initially like nothing is set so we'll assume initially the capacitor doesn't have any charge so basically we can short the capacitor right so if we short the capacitor what is happening this whole potential right whole potential is now what this is plus 14 volts right 14 volts so this whole potential is coming across these two points right these two points and like what do we need the like the zener background voltage to be we need it to be 6.8 volts and the diode voltage cutting voltage for it to become forward bias we need 0.7 volts so overall at this point right overall at this point what voltage do we need we need 7.5 volts so like we are getting 14 volts here giving but we only need 7.5 volts so what will happen like at that instant like uh, instantaneously a huge current will flow impulse current will flow and that will charge the uh, capacitor and this output voltage will be set to uh, uh, 7.5 volts right but at this instant what is the output voltage so this is at let's say t equals to 0 right t equals to 0 so at this instant v of 0 is 14 volts only okay v of 0 is 14 volts only but after like now what is what is the current ic of 0 a delta of t and impulse current flows right and that charges the capacitor instantaneously so like your homework is find this magnitude of this impulse current okay do this now what will happen next at t equals to 0 plus right let me again take the circuit t equals to 0 plus like this point right we can replace this point with a voltage source right because uh, the output has been fixed because the zener diode has reached breakdown so this point we can say this has been fixed to 7.5 volts okay so this point has been fixed to 7.5 volts and this is al already 14 volts and this is at t equals to 0 plus right so now the both ends of the capacitor right has been fixed so obviously the voltage has been fixed like th that is the amount of charge that has been uh, charged by the capacitor right so what will this voltage be so simply apply kvl right simply apply kvl we can see that uh, minus 14 plus vc 0 plus plus 7.5 equals to 0 so vc 0 plus equals to 7.5 volts so this will get charged to 7.5 volts right now what will happen after this like you may say that this 10 ohm resistor right has 7.5 volts across it so this has some current right so like who will supply this current will the zero diode supply this current or the supply uh, like uh, like give this current to the resistor right so like one thing we know that the current the diode can't flow from like uh, from uh, like uh, n junction to p junction right it can't flow okay it can't flow in reverse direction it will only flow in forward direction okay so like here the current through here is not possible so obviously some current will flow through here 
as the voltage across is 7.5 volts so what will happen is that a bit of current will flow and like the capacitor will get charged right and the voltage across it will slowly start to reduce because the capacitor will get charged then this uh, regulator right will turn off this regulator will turn off okay what will happen is that this uh, uh, like current will flow through this and this capacitor will get charged and to what will it get charged to it will get charged to 14 volts okay so as time constant is very very low it will get charged very fast to 14 volts okay so yeah let me draw the circuit okay, let me to copy this only So what will our output voltage look like then so basically our output voltage will go to zero the, after that okay just before t of minus right so this will get charged to 14 volts okay this will get charged to 14 volts and our output will be zero at that point but what is happening after this so basically like uh, this is v o of t of minus equals to zero volts okay now what is happening after this so after this right so we have this capacitor and this resistor right and also the voltage is suddenly changing this is the case two for negative up cycle okay case two so what will happen basically this is uh this has charge of 14 volts and this is r and this potential is plus minus 14 volts and this is our diode let me do this this is our zener diode correct so like at this instant right at t equals to t of what is the vo so vo of t of equals to minus 28 volts right at this instant minus 28 volts and as this is negative right so obviously diode won't get turned on and like zener diode won't be reverse bias so yeah this doesn't come in action so we can simply remove this right simply remove this so we have one resistor over here which is of 10 ohms right so let me write this 10 ohms and obviously what will happen is current will flow in this loop and this will charge the capacitor so and as time constant is very very uh, low right then the time period so it will get charged very fast okay so what will happen like our circuit will look something like this after this This is view and this is plus minus 14 volts and this is 14 volts this is at t equals to t of plus so what is the view at this instant so view at this instant at t of plus equals to zero volts right as current through this resistor is zero amps so now what are the swing limits right so like again like doing it for the case 3 right in the positive half cycle what is happening again like again the voltage source is changing right it is changing to plus minus 14 volts but the capacitor still has charge of plus minus 14 volts okay and this is r and this is the diode And this is the zener diode right okay let me okay i don't have circuit drawing correctly but that's fine this is let's say at t equals to t right t equals to just t so now what is the output voltage at this instant so vo of t right equals to simply this is 0 0.7 volts and this is 6.8 volts the breakdown voltage that is but what is like this doesn't come in action just at this instant we can see that v of t is 28 volts right v of t is 28 volts 
now as this is positive right this is positive so obviously this will come into action and this will again become 7.5 volts again this will become 7.5 volts again some current will flow through here right some current will flow through here this is 7.5 volts okay now what will happen basically again like this will charge this right this will charge this so again this will go to plus 14 volts okay so basically uh, that will again happen and again the negative half cycle will repeat this one was just different so what are the swing limits of the arc to voltage so the swing limits right of vo will be from 28 volts to minus 28 volts okay so yeah this was basically the uh, answer for this question so this is a very interesting question uh, the homework for you is plot the output voltage and like the uh, write the a like the area of the impulses which are coming right at this instant also some impulses kind of coming at this instant right so yeah plot that and if you like the video uh, then do please that hit the like button yeah and if you want more content like this then do subscribe my channel okay thank you